Now, Nicholas Vieta of War and Princess Beatrix is this your elected American boyfriend speaking, and your elected Mrs. Boyfriend speaking, Eskimo on Facebook. And I do love being Princess Beatrix's elected Mrs. Boyfriend. Of course, I love Princess Beatrix. Now, I'm starting a new show. Of course, I would like to first wish Prince Charles a happy 66th birthday on behalf of everyone at the White House. And, of course, I am the White House Republican of the United States is promoted by the Obama administration. I'm totally independent, and I always promote diversity as a young Republican blogger above American politics. But at any rate, um, you know, I was thinking today, of course, I expressed it on Facebook, I believe that we have lost order in Memphis politics. Now, how can you can tell an original Memphis politician versus the every average day politician? It's because I'm part of the first in a generation original Memphis politician. In the 1920s, it used to be you could not disrespect any public figure. You know, in the 1920s, you could get in serious, serious trouble disrespecting any person who was a candidate for public office, an elected official, and the chaos I see in Memphis, Tennessee, is way, way unacceptable. So my proposal is we need to be more conservative. You know, conservatives have changed somewhat from what it used to be in the 1920s, the 1930s, because during those days, if you went against, you know, Theodore Roosevelt or, you know, one of the Kennedy family members, you was in serious trouble. And I mean trouble that you would never go back to the White House. So the way that I see it, the way they're disrespecting the president, Mrs. Obama, the way they have disrespected even former President George W. Bush. I got a letter from him, and it was quite disrespectful for nobody to honor it. You know, you, in, the, in the 1920s, you used to get in serious, serious trouble for disrespecting any public figure. So I think we need to go back to the old values here in Memphis, Tennessee, since we're reforming education. Nicholas Fugues reporting, how to think and be an original Memphis politician presents. Nicholas Fugues presents this with the White House. I'm partnering with the Office of the First Lady regarding this subject, and I'm not only the Office of First Lady Michelle Obama, who appreciates me as a CNN icon of Memphis, but also former First Lady Laura Bush and, of course, Barbara Bush, because the Bushes love Nicholas Fugues as well. Nicholas Fugues supported Princess Beatrix. This is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. I do love your original Memphis, Bia Bia. And happy birthday, Prince Charles. Nicholas Fugues reporting. He turned 66 today.